few months ago, I got this, this Facebook message. And I'm going to read it to you because it really impacted me. December 3rd, 2015. Dear Dr. Weibel, I'm not sure you read your Facebook messages, but feel compelled to thank you. I was finishing term two of med school and had a bottle of Xanax in my hand. I was ready, as so many of us are. I took three, and then three more, and came across this link, how to graduate medical school without killing yourself, which I believe may have saved my life and a couple of close friends who are also suffering. I'm near the top of my class and praying for death to escape the trap I'm locked into. I was in true delirium from lack of sleep and fear of failure, studying in my sleep and waking up every hour in panic. Med school is doable, but why must it be taught in this format? I read your stories and I'm just in shock. How many others feel like I do or I feel like they do? Please keep sharing. <coughs> you are saving lives, friend. So the backstory on this is that I did a lecture in Lebanon, Oregon. I wasn't invited by the school to do a lecture. I was invited by the medical students. There's all these medical students keep throwing, I, I feel like I have to keep throwing these like life rafts constantly out to medical students. They're begging me to come. The administrators haven't invited me to the schools, but I, I'm really glad to be here. Thank you. Um, <laughs> one of the reasons I'm glad to be here. But the medical students keep inviting me, and I keep going and you know speaking for free because medical students, I don't want them to have to go on like Excel brownies door to door to, you know, whatever, so they don't have any extra money, right? So I go, uh, and it's only an hour from my house, this new school in Lebanon, Oregon. So I spoke there, I did this talk, and I take all my talks and I put them on online because I feel like more people can benefit from them than just the people who live down the street from me. And so this particular one got a lot of uh, interest, like people were reading this a lot. I could tell on Facebook that there was just extreme interest in this topic. And so what I did is I spent over $3,000 on Facebook ads to promote this lecture that I gave in Oregon to a targeted audience of medical students to try to stop them from killing themselves. And it looks like it was effective. I don't know how many other people read this and were impacted the same way, but um, I'm really happy that I was able to save this gentleman and two of his classmates, but I feel like there's got to be a better method than me sitting in Oregon putting money on Facebook ads. You know, there's probably a better way to do this, but, but still, that's one way that works, okay? 